Big spoon or little spoon? Uh, I, I like being a little spoon. I, I, I like being a little spoon. It's fun. Really? Yeah. Cereals with a little spoon? Oh, wait. Is that what we're talking about? I thought we were talking about cuddling. <laughs> hello, friends. Welcome to Mr. Cool Howard. Hello. Hello, Internet. Hey, friend. Welcome to my home. Thanks. Welcome Great to, to my here. channel. Thanks. Great to be here. Yeah. <laughs> we got a lot of questions from them for you. Great. So do you want to dive in right away? Is that the first question? <laughs> I want to make sure that they have your social media. I'm always on Twitter. Uh, uh, it's at Cole MF Howard. I'm on Instagram. I think it's cmfh.esq, pretending to be a lawyer. I will put it in the description below. What does the MF stand for? It depends on who's asking. But uh, actually, I got it from this guy, Metal Phase, uh, MF Doom here. Yeah. How did you get into voice acting? You've seen Mrs. Doubtfire? Yeah, of course. Yeah. There's a clip right at the beginning where Robin Williams' character is dubbing over yeah. that smoking bird. Yeah, yeah. I remember seeing that as a kid and being like, oh, I want to be a cartoon. That looks like a lot of fun. Uh, and then I did a bit of theater, met a couple people, just really applied myself to pursuing voiceover specifically. Oh. So you actually have to apply yourself in this job? Uh, I'm out. Ninjago, twice. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you know the ninja enough now. Mm -hmm. If you could be one of the ninja, who would you want to play? I mean, Cole. <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I think that's a pretty easy answer. In the Seabound finale, mm. you have this really big emotional scene, mm -hmm. right? Where you're losing it. What was it like recording that scene? Do you remember? I just, it's what I love to do. I love acting. I love playing make-believe and playing pretend, you know? So even if it's a, even if it's an emotional scene or a, or a scary scene or whatever, there's an element of that, that fun make-believe that I try to inject into everything. You know, when you see kids playing at recess, those are the best actors in the world mm. because they're just fully committed. They're fully bought into what they're doing. Yeah, and like my floor is lava in my mind years ago. Right, yeah. And actually, that's that would be pretty fun to get around this room, actually. I'm looking at the obstacles, right? Yeah. Parkour! Parkour! Ever get damage on your vocal cords, and how do you prevent that? <laughs> yeah, I was doing... Uh, I was playing Shinpachi in Gintama, which is an insane show. But I remember I went in that first session and I knew that the character yelled a lot, did a lot of like scream talking where it's like, you know, and you had to match the flaps and you had to do all of that stuff. So it's not even just like ah screaming, it's scream talking. So everything has to be clear, big run on sentences. And I remember we got about halfway through and I, I was feeling it. I was like, I'm fried. We had to record the rest of it at a later date. I couldn't finish the session. But in the lead up to the next session, I was like vocal warm ups. I was singing in the shower. <laughs> I was drinking herbal tea and just pounding back Nim Jum. And then I, I got in and I got through it. Sing, drink yeah. tea, and pound back some Nim Jum. Pretty much. Which is yeah. a uh, Chinese uh, syrup it's thing, the best. right? First time I ever had it. I was, it was the first and only time that I played two characters in one show that kind of like went back and forth with each other. And I got to the session and Vince Tong gave me a Nim Jum. He's like, you're going to want this. <laughs> he, he bought me my first bottle. And I haven't gotten away from really? it since. Yeah. I think Vincent's name has shown up most in so many interviews on my channel. Like he gets mentioned so many times. Yeah. He's a memorable guy. He gets around. Yeah, he sure does. Yeah. He's ubiquitous. <laughs> I don't say big words like that on my channel. Sorry. All the characters you've ever played, what's the most fun you've had? It's hard not to say Spider-Man. I think Spider-Man, Yeah. you know, that's like the childhood dream to get to play Spidey. And I got to do it like, you know, 40 times on these little shorts that we made with Disney. And yeah. it was a blast every time. I, just I, I don't get jealous of a lot of people in their parts and stuff. Yeah. I'm a little jealous of that one. That is pretty, pretty I would, uh, sweet. I would be too. Sometimes I walk past a mirror and I'm like, oh wait, <laughs> yeah, that's like, me. How did you enjoy playing, I'm gonna butcher this, Wakiya Murasaki in Beyblade? Did, is that the name? Yeah, yeah, he crushed it. Nice. He crushed it. Uh, it was awesome. I, I liked playing Wakiya because he was like um, that classic kind of anime. Uh, he wasn't a good guy, but he wasn't like a bad guy. He was just kind of in that... Like he's just like, I'm just too cool for all of you guys. Nobody, you know. What was his, his hair 
style. It was just like huge and blonde, and I think it had like purple streaks in it. Yeah. Anime has the the coolest hair, man. Yeah. It was fun to be like, let her rip! I say let her rip a lot as well, but it's never to do with animation or voice acting. Which character have you ever played that gave you a real pinch me moment? Fighty would be up there. I think uh, I got to play uh, Android 17 in one of the newer Dragon Ball redubs. And Dragon Ball Z, like, I, was, yeah, was, I was obsessed with there it. There was nothing done in Vancouver, was there? Yeah, there was a series called Dragon Ball Z Kai. They just like, they redid a bunch of it. It was, I mean, I don't know what ever happened to it. I don't know if it exists, but you know, it's on IMDb and I remember doing it. The checks cleared. Yeah, I loved DBZ growing up. Yeah. Yeah, and especially because the Dragon Ball, the dub of Dragon Ball I watched was the one that they did in Ocean. So yeah. like, I it, knew all those people. It was before my time, but, yeah. but I knew all those people too. Yeah. Okay, have you ever played any villains before? Not really. I mean, Android 17 was kind of villainy. On the Mega Man show, Mega Man fully charged, I think. I got to play like a, he, he wasn't a villain, but he was like an antagonist character. I'd love to play more. But it's also, so. you've got a pretty good niche on that hero voice, the young yeah. hero voice, right? I do, yeah. So that's also, uh, I've tried to tell people like, if you're really good at one thing, like your money voice or whatever, mm -hmm. like you, you'll get opportunity and sometimes it's just best to lie in that bed a little bit longer. I mean, you're not kidding. When I first moved out here, you know, the whole, the objective was to be like, I want to be the big character voice guy. Yeah. It's like, they got tons of guys who are already great at that. Yeah. You know, so what can I do well? Well, I can, I can imitate Vincent. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and he imitated Sam Vincent. There we go. So, yeah. Yeah. It's, the, it's, a, it's a proud it's tradition. The power of Vincent something in the name. Right. <laughs> do you own any Lego sets? Yeah, I actually got uh, I got a sweet Lego City set for Christmas, which was awesome. Lego City? Yeah. You're not in Lego City. I know, I, I know. I don't think there is a Lego <laughs> City show. Um, <laughs> the park bench, you can't sit here. <laughs> I actually have a big bin of old Lego from when I was a kid. And it's just like, it's all like, it's the old pirate ship and the old castle and stuff. This is hardcore. Yeah. Oh, it's the best. You don't have like, you're supposed to say, yeah, I got Spider-Man in my set yeah. and I got like uh, the Ninjago ones with my guys in it. But you say, to, no, I just got Lego. When you started your uh, voice acting career, you started in uh, Calgary. Correct. Right, the voice ever seen. Yeah. What led you eventually to come to Vancouver? Yeah, it was an easy choice because my, my dad lived out in BC at the time and I was... You know, I graduated high school. I'd done a bunch of stuff in Calgary, but I was just kind of like, I was just languishing, you know, just in my mom's basement. My mom kept dropping me subtle hints. She'd come downstairs and be like, have you considered working for CN Railway? They're hiring. <laughs> uh, so I was like, I think I need to get out of here. I moved to Vancouver. I was fortunate enough to meet my agent. And then I basically didn't work for like two and a half years. Uh, oh, that's a great story, Cole. <laughs> <laughs> and then I started working. Gotcha. And then it became good. But uh, yeah, it was, you know, it was, it's a, it, was, it was a rocky road, but an easy choice. Do you like performing more on the ice season or seabound? Seabound gave me more to do. And I, I uh, yeah, there was some really lovely writing. And yeah, Benthamar was just a fun character to play. Yeah. I, I, I love... The, the having the privilege of getting to do that whole narrative episode when I told the story of Benthamar was such a treat. I'm assuming of the two characters, you liked Benthamar more than to play. Yeah. So with Benthamar being the most fresh in my memory, um, also though I think he had a really fun arc, a fun character arc, and I got to play him off of what Giles was doing with Kalmar. And you and Giles know each other pretty good. So yeah, was... love Giles. Um, ridiculously talented. And so, so kind. But um, but I don't need to tell you guys that. He was just here. Yeah. yeah. Go back and watch my <laughs> last one. It was with exactly. Giles. Yeah. Um, do you have a favorite line you've ever done in Dragon Prince? I, I like playing the Crow Master because he's very self-effacing and he's very, um, you know, there, there's just a lot of, well, I'd be happy to do that. Um, to, let me just, uh, let me just check and then I'll see if I can, uh, 
yeah, uh, do that for you. You know, it's a lot of that kind of stuff, which I really, really enjoy, especially playing off, you know, some of the other actors in that show. But, uh, yeah, not, 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 I can't remember any specific lines, but my, my mind is a sieve. <laughs>